We begin today with the story of a busy family in the middle of the hectic holiday season. A mom, dad and four boys throwing a Christmas party at their home for more than three dozen people. So dad wasn't feeling well. He thought maybe he had the flu. Not even close. 42 year old David Govro was having a heart attack. He and his wife Courtney share their story. I wasn't feeling well and thought if I can just find a way to kind of get through this, um, you know, through, through uh, the, the event later on, I'll go, go to the doctor. After everybody left, he said, I want to go to urgent care and just something inside me said, we, we better go to the doctor really quick. You know, we need to go. Um, started out with just kind of shortness of breath. And as time went on, it, it turned into, you know, arm pain and chest pain. And by the time we got to the emergency room, um, I knew it was serious, so I, you know, it was a good decision to, to go there. And so um, we got into the emergency room, and of course you walk into the emergency room and say, hey, I have chest pains and shortness of breath, and I'm not feeling well. Um, they, they start moving pretty fast. He didn't say it, but I let him out at the door at the ER. I said, just go on in, I'm gonna park the car. And by the time I got in there, um, there were people moving, and I'm standing there holding the hand of a six-year-old thinking, oh my gosh, something's wrong, and I'm texting friends, can someone come get Noah, and, and you know, then they said the word heart attack, and, and I'm like, no, he has, he has pneumonia. <laughs> That's not a heart attack. <laughs> they got me back into the room and um, started putting the, the um, connectors and things, the wire, wiring me up, so to speak, and um, I guess that's when I actually had the heart attack. My friend said they got the text message from me and it said, OM, heart attack, help me. The team at Belton Regional Medical Center sent David by ambulance to Research Medical Center for a life-saving procedure. And that's where he was met by interventional cardiologist Dr. Willie Lawrence and his team. In a normal encounter in an office, you're trying to meet the patients, you're trying to make them feel comfortable and the uh, you get them to, you want to bond with them and when you meet someone in the emergency room in the middle of a heart attack, especially with their family, you're pushing because you know that the sooner you open up a blood vessel, uh, the less damage that's done to the heart. So it's important that you, that you, that you move quickly. You have to, you want, you want to, you're trying to get consent, you're just trying to go through the procedural things that are going to allow you to, to, uh, to potentially uh, either save a person's life or prevent further damage from happening to their to their, house, to their heart. Uh, so it all happens very quickly. Uh, our goal and, and when someone presents with a heart attack is to open up that blood vessel within you know, 90 minutes of the time that they, that they present. And that's even more of a challenge when they present to a, a hospital that's different than the hospital with you work. And in this situation, he presented to Belton Hospital. And what, what I'm proud of uh, it's being a part of a system that can accommodate that. And the things that they did at Belton Hospital made, quite frankly, the things that we had to do in retrospect a whole lot easier. When we got to the cardiac cath lab, that vessel was already open. It had a very tight blockage in it. But they had uh, begun treatment that led to that vessel having a restoration of blood flow. Uh, and that, as much as what we did, prevented any significant damage from occurring to his heart. So the most important thing is, is having a system in place that allows you to, to, to do your job well in those 10 to 15 minutes that it takes to, to open up a blood vessel, restore blood flow, and potentially save someone's life. But if you don't do all those things leading up into that, that, that procedure, then either the patient's a lot sicker when they get here, a lot of damage has already occurred, uh, so, so we're proud of the fact that we think we have a system of care that allows us to get the kind of uh, result that we've gotten, we've gotten here. And then when that happens, it's, it's very re rewarding. I think both of us have, been, have felt very humble um, after talking to Dr. Lawrence because, you know, we're in, everything's done, we're in the ICU, and, and Courtney actually went out into the hall and gave him a hug and said, how do you say thank you? <laughs> and, um, Sorry, and and I, the uh, his response was it was done way before it got to me. Um, everything went smoothly because they had done what they needed to, and so you know how do you say thank you to all of that whole team at that point? Yeah, looking back, David said he could see the signs: shortness of breath, swollen ankles. He just didn't think that a heart attack could actually happen to him. And that's not the end of David's story. It's really a new beginning for his entire family. 
Well, since we got out of the hospital, obviously we've gotten some medication, and then um, we're, we're going through um, cardio rehab here at the hospital as well, and, and they're fantastic. So we go and, and they talk to us about education for dietary things as well as um, you know exercise um, and, and kind of guide you through the process. The thing that helps is when you have a, a, a partner who helps you, okay? When you not only make a change, but the whole family pitches in and makes a change. Uh, when you create a blog like you're doing, and you, you give testimony to, your, to this process, uh, it's, it's hard for people to share these types of personal things. But when you do that, then you, 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 you're, gonna, you're gonna help someone never end up in the cardiac cath lab in the middle of the night. And we're crazy busy people. I mean, we have four boys. We have, you know, busy work lives, busy, we're always going somewhere. We do a lot at our church. You know, we just need to slow down and take a breath and, you know, be thankful for where we're at and what we have. And um, this just kind of amplifies your thankfulness when you go through it too. It, it was kind of hard to believe, like, this, I'm okay, this shouldn't be happening to me. I'm not old enough to have this be going on. It, I mean, I'm 42, and, and so that was kind of shocking at first, but then it was like, uh-oh, you know, now life's different. Now I have to live life a little bit differently than before as far as eating habits and things like that to, to really pay attention to. No more squeezy to. cheese. <laughs>